Let's see how we can train an Autolytics model on the KT dataset. So this is a dataset for full self-driving cars and basically just a car driving around, capturing images of roads, pedestrians, all different types of environments, of driving environments. So this is a very common data set used for autonomous driving and just detecting things like visual odometry, how we can track a, how a car is moving around in an environment based on the image frames. So we're going to see every single step, how we can use the data set, but also how to train the Autolytics YOLO 11 model. So let's just jump straight into it and, and open up the GitHub repository that we have for all the different notebooks with Autolytics. So we have Autolytics and then we have a repository called Notebooks. Under here we have all different types of notebooks. You can open up directly in Google Colab, run them step by step and train them. You can bring your own custom data sets. We also have tons of data sets available. We cover every single step in the computer vision pipeline. But if you take a look at the Kitty data set, first of all, it's basically just a car here driving around with a stereo camera rig. It has GPS information, so it can be used for visual odometry, tracking how a car is, how is the car moving around in the environment. And it also have a 360 laser scanner, a LiDAR scanner to give depth information as well, because then if you can combine depth information with the also the leaks update detection, then we actually have a pretty good understanding of what's going around in the environment, what type of objects are around the car when we're driving. So this is pretty much just a very, very used computer vision, vision benchmark suit for self-driving cars. We can see in and out between cars. This is pretty complex scenario. So you can try to do segmentation of the road as well. So with a drivable, drivable path. You can go in and grab the data set and everything as well. And we have the Google Colab notebook that you can run as well. So let's just connect to our T4. If you go into the runtime, you can change the runtime type and use a free GPU. And that's all you need. Then we just need the Autolytics model, the data set, we train it, then we can export the model and run inference with it in our own applications and projects. So you can go and read more about it here. You can see the data set structure. We have around 6,000 images in our training set and we have all different types of objects in that data that we're going to take a look at. 1500 images in our validation set. So this is a pretty good, decent sized data set. This is probably an average data set for a very good computer vision project. First of all, we just pip install Autolytics. We need to run it. That's the only thing that we need to in import. Autolytics is going to install everything that we need. And we're already using Google Colab with the free GPU resources, Torch, and everything set up. So now we can see that our setup is complete. We also have a file explorer here on the left side. You can zoom in a bit. We have our data YAML file. So we're going to detect a car, van, truck, pedestrian, person sitting down, cyclist, trams, and also here just MISC, so all of the different types of classes that we have. We have a training set and a validation set. That's pretty much all. We can download it from Autolytics out of the box. First time we run it, it's going to download the data set automatically. So this is the data YAML structure file that we need. Then we can go down and grab one of the YOLO models, import YOLO from Autolytics. We create an instance of it. We're going to use the pre-trained YOLO 11 nano model. You can also use small, medium, you can even go in and use segmentation if you find a segmentation kitty version. Epochs 10, let's just go with 10 epochs. Image size, you can specify whatever image size that you want. Here we just want to detect different types of classes. Most of these classes are already in the Coco data set. So what we are training our model on or pre-training a model on, so we will have an easier time learning these classes, but we just really need to have very high accuracy and very high recall as well when we're doing, for example, autonomous cars. So all we have to do is just hit train and just in a few minutes we have our data set it's going down automatically we have the full training script running it's just a single line of code pretty much it will train the model we can take a look at it, look at the results you can do a few iterations you can try out different versions of the model then we can export and actually like use it for applications and projects a very cool one compared with a depth estimator we have created another video here on the channel with depth estimation so you can check that out how we can get relative depth then you can extract that and get the depth value. So we get the bounding boxes from the YOLO model and then we can combine it with depth information as well. So it's only in Kitty dataset, 65% here. So it will just take a few seconds and we're good to go. Here we can see some examples of the data sets of just different pedestrians or like people walking around. We have our cars, we have some different vans, we have the tram here in the background. So this is a pretty good data set. Then after we can see how we can run inference with our prediction method. 
So 93% here. In just a second, it will start the training. We're just going to train for 10 epochs. You might go for 30, 40, 50 epochs if you really want to have the full training run with a converged model. Could be even more depending on your data set and also the model that you're choosing. Then after you're done training, we can go inside our run directory, grab the best trained model and we just create an inference model then we can just call predict on our inference image here you can also just look through our test images do inference and that take a look at the results you can also find the videos from the kd data set so you can run everything through end to end so now we have started the training here it's just going to run 10 epochs so it might take probably like 10 15 minutes and it should be done here depending on your gpu three percent here it's probably going to take around a minute per minute and 30 here per epoch so once we run the prediction we will pretty much just get our detections here we can export into the one of the optimized frameworks we have videos covering all of these ones here whether you want to use it on jetson like nvidia hardware onnx for intel hardware and just cpu in general you can also run on gpu with onnx open window is for the intel hardware core mml if we're getting into mac hardware but have all these export formats you just need to call the export function format and that's pretty much it so i ran this recording here on a video so you can go in and grab a video stream everything will be down in the description as well so you can just grab it there we have the notebook directly out of the box so here for example we can see a video playing we're detecting all the pedestrians walking the cars driving around we detect the cars and this is even on very low resolution images. The KD data set is pretty old, so you might be able to find like just cars driving around. You can just try to take your camera, of course not while you're driving, but if you're sitting in the passenger seat, you can just take a video and you can do these detections yourself. It's much cooler than using a data set out of the box. You will learn more data generation, and it's also just cooler to see your own environment where you're detecting all these things going on around. So. Let's just wait here for the model to be done training. We can run the inference, we can export it, and then we have a full kitty trained model for autonomous driving, or at least detecting the obstacles that is around our car. So now our model is almost done training here for 10 epochs. And if we just take a look at the results, it is pretty much just going up in the mean error position, both in the 0.50 and only 0.50. To 0 0.95 so this is the confidence intervals we also have a precision recall it's also increasing but it's still increasing after 10 epochs so it's not fully converged yet we probably have to train for 40 50 epochs and that will take roughly around an hour depending on the dpu right now we're just using the free dpu resource available on google cola so you can also go in and use that and we have a pretty small bed size as well so we can do some optimizations around that too mm -hmm. 3% here, 2% left, it's going to run the evaluation and we can take a look at all the results. So it will be available here in the left side. So we have our runs, we have our detect, we have our train, and then we'll have our, the weights. And now we're going to have all our evaluations as well. So if we go inside our weights, we have our best.pt. We can download this one, but we're also going to export it to ONNX or some other format. And then you can download those formats too. So if we're going to take a look at our validation predictions, so this is pretty much just images that the model has not seen during training. And we can see that we're detecting cars, we're detecting miscellaneous, we're detecting some vans here, pedestrians, we have some bicycles as well. So we're still getting, we're even getting a tram here, even though it's a very small tram. So the model's all over there doing pretty good. It's also based on the Coco, uh, Coco pre-trained weight. So we already has some features learned. If we take a look at the results of PNG, we can see that the model has not converged yet. It's still going up. What well, we can see it's going slow, more, more and more slow, but definitely not converged yet. So we can still squeeze more out of this model. You can try it out your own, but as we can see, we're already getting pretty good detections. We can take a look at the confusion matrix. Ideally, we want to have all the values in the diagonal. It's we have a lot of cars in our data set pretty much, and we're still missing some cars. We're getting some wrong detections here with pedestrians. We have some cars and backgrounds that pretty, pretty much like the main problem, but also just because we have so many instances, pedestrians is pretty much 50-50 if we get them. So this model can still be improved. But one, what we can do after our training is that we can go down and run our inference. So all we have to do is just take our model, the trainer, the save directory. So this is pretty much just our waste directory here. We can run that. And we're going to run our model prediction on this 
image if you want to run the predictions on the video so the video that i showed that i ran before this one we can just process it here and it's going to process the full video and download it directly from also lytics so now we can see it's processing all the frames here you can either specify a video you can have a zero index if you want to use the webcam and so on we can't do that here in google colab but if you run it on your own local machine so now we'll get our output results that will go into our predict one first of all with our images then we have predict two where we'll have our videos save to so once we run predictions we can export it right now we're just going to export it to our next check out video we have videos covering all technical details about all the different optimization frameworks that we can export the models into right now we just create a new model of a new model instance we export it into the ONNX format Autolytics will take care of everything all the installations all the required dependencies that you need the requirements and then it will convert it to on next then you can further convert it to the other frameworks or just use it for cpu you can sometimes get up to like two three if using some dpu and specific hardware accelerated framework you get up to 5 10x inference speed without really losing any accuracy at all so now we can see inside our weights folder we get our own next model we download that use it in our inference script this is how we can train an end-to-end also the XYOL model on the KD data set this is a very cool real world use case test it out on your own videos where you have your friend driving around you capture the video you do the data set do the labeling you can use some also labeling with also as well we have a video about that too train the model that's pretty cool project hope you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy training